In the Molinex Bridge Gallery, we featured hashtag Mama Phase. As part of the exhibition Labor Motherhood and Art in 2020, NMSU Department of Art Master of Fine Art students and artist mothers Katrina Chandler and Maggie Day applied to and took part in Lenka Clayton's An Artist Residency in Motherhood, a self-directed open source artist residency that empowers and inspires women who are also mothers. From August 2019 through January 2020, Chandler and Day were given four hours per week to create their artist statements, bios, studio practice, structure, and artworks, all exhibited here in the gallery and created in their new studios within Devastali Hall. As part of their residency, the University Art Museum provided two-hour classes for their children once a week to create artwork while their mothers were given time and space to work in their studios. The artworks exhibited here represent what happens when we create a support structure for mothers on the campus of New Mexico State University, and when motherhood is offered as a rich concept to explore within academia, rather than an obstacle to overcome. In Maggie Day's work, the combination of domestic found objects and ceramic craft point directly home to a life where children and an alternative view of motherhood take shape. The colors and compositions of these works appear staged and strange, like a set of a sitcom, a synthetic life, or a stage constructed of props to perform motherhood. The result of Day's combining of what she refers to as failed ceramic objects and her private archive, including a 13-year-old collection of her children's used toys and clothing, are monuments to triumph over the self-doubt that Day and many other mothers feel when trying to simultaneously succeed at mothering and having a thriving artistic practice. The collaboration between Day and her daughter Aaliyah explores the interwoven nature of parenting with artistic practice and the natural osmosis of creation between the two. From viewing these pieces, as well as the works Aaliyah created during Day's Artist Residency and Motherhood, we can see that beyond a traditional mother and child bond, their creative lives are now inextricably linked, and neither of their works can be the same without the other. Day is a mother of three and an MFA candidate in the NMSU Department of Art. As part of this installation, Day has integrated works created by her children into this display.
In these hand-illustrated mixed-meter works, Katrina Chandler daringly approaches the complicated world of internet dating. What on the surface seems comical, lighthearted, and spontaneous upon closer observation becomes a vulnerable self-portrait of her life as a single mother, graduate student, and full-time employee. Vulnerability within the platform of online dating is a normal experience, but in these works, Chandler challenges and confronts her audience by mass-producing her experiences, making them larger than life, and removing them from the purely personal. Chandler encourages viewers to activate these works by editing, adopting, and controlling the experiences and conversations to fully understand the complicated breakdown in intimacy and empathy resulting from dating in the age of technology. By transforming her personal narrative, we may all take part in the simulacra of a platform ripe for anonymity and void of civility. Each of these works was created during Chandler's artist residency in motherhood. And as part of this installation, Chandler has integrated her works by creating that are created by her children into the display. Chandler is a mother of two, a full-time employee at NMSU, and an MFA candidate in the NMSU Department of Art.
Also in the Mullinex Bridge Gallery is the project Let Them Bloom. Bold Futures, formerly Young Women United, is a New Mexico-based reproductive justice organization. They work to build communities where all people have what is needed to make real decisions about their own bodies and lives. In the fall of 2016, they facilitated an art and organization institute in the Mesilla Valley, bringing together 11 women of color and three local artists who shared their pregnancy-related lived experience and insight. Collectively, they created art and media that reflected the complexities of pregnancy, infertility, miscarriage, birth, abortion, postpartum depression, violence, stillbirth, labor, nursing, and other issues that affected families and communities. Let Them Bloom is a Papel Picado series collectively imagined by these women and crafted by the Las Cruces artist Brianna Valdez. Papel Picado is a decorative craft made by cutting elaborate designs into sheets of tissue paper and is considered a Mexican folk art.